Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, today I am going to pull a Work Your Light Oracle to find what guidance uh, we need to be following to really maximize our light at this time. And to remember that you are the Oracle because you have all of the answers within. Um, so if you are a really good tip of how to tap into your own intuition is to ask yourself a question, close your eyes and imagine traffic lights in front of you. And if the answer, if it goes to red, the traffic light the answer is no if it goes to green the answer is yes and the more you practice doing that the more that you strengthen your intuition and your trust in your intuition as well because you are the oracle so uh the work your light uh let's have a look what do we need to know today and it is take a break <laughs> uh, that's quite amusing right so take a break this is like you know, if we've all, uh, we've all probably been on lockdown to various degrees. And um, I think there is this pressure to, uh, well, it's, a, it's like an individual pressure, but it may be a collective pressure as well, that we need to be really productive in this time. And we need to, I don't know, doing all these sorts of things. And actually, every now and then, um, it's okay to take a break. So, because we're all going to be in different circumstances, some will be like homeschooling their children, some will be looking after maybe elderly parents, some will be on their own, like all different ways there'll be challenges. But without a doubt, there is probably the constant chitter chatter in our minds telling us, oh, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, we should be doing this. And uh, this message is just to say, look, it's okay to give yourself a break. It's okay to just have a day where you're, you know, where you just don't give yourself so much of that. Uh, you know, basically, we all know it, that constant mind, mind, like constantly telling you what to do. So the message is take a break. It's OK. A life's work is not a season. So get off the treadmill. So it's OK to take a break and enjoy your creations, to take a moment from your busy schedule, to get off the treadmill of life, to appreciate and acknowledge all that you've created, achieved, released or experienced before rushing on to the next thing. To be in the moment, enjoy where you are, to take a breath and regather your mind, body and spirit, to recalibrate, appreciate and celebrate, to decide on what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant into your life, released an old way of being or just been burning the candle at both ends. Now is the time to take some time out before rushing on to the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on vacation. Well, we can't do that, but we can give ourselves a massage if you can get out in nature. Basically, just take a time, take a moment today to give yourself a break. And I am very strongly feeling this isn't just like it's a physical break, but it's a break from all of that mind, you know, from your mind like playing game, you know, just going on overdrive, basically, because, you know, the news is just like incessant 24 seven about the virus and, you know, financial difficulties, economies collapsing, you know, the whole world just needs to take a little break. <laughs> and um and of course, for all of those people that are truly suffering and having financial and health and all of those and losing their loved ones, that is just the most horrendous thing. So compassion, love, peace to everyone. So, but the message is clear, right? Take a break. It was also, um, I'm going to pull a, uh, a moon, uh, moon guidance as well because uh, the moon is always helping us to lift and shift energies. So how is the moon helping us? And it is this, you're very close to achieving your goal. So um, it's hold that vision. Don't lose sight of the goal that you want to achieve for your life. Because um, I know that it can be incredibly unsettling at the moment because it makes you think, is this ever going to happen? This seems like so, you know, kind of like throwing everyone off course but actually it's putting everyone on course because it is you know shifting through energies that we all need to release collectively 
So the message is the word gibbous means bulging. What a descriptive word. And putting this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet be required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. That's not meant to scare you, it's just to let you know there's a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful if you choose to light it. So that is so true. At this time, I think we're all very much on tender hooks and it can go, sometimes it can go even way, you can spiral into like, a, you know, into fear and just like everything and it's like walking that very tender line all the time which is why I understand why we're getting that message around um, taking a break and just trying to switch off your mind from everything that's going on around and just to get into that place where it's okay to give yourself that break um, so that is the message because we are achieving, you know, even though it doesn't feel like it, we are moving closer and closer and closer every single day. Um, and that's where we need to hold a vision for the future because we're here to ground this new energy onto the planet with the help of the moon and the help of the planet and this planetary shift that we're going through um, is huge, right? So uh, that was on page 30. So I'm going to uh, share mantra number 30, which is this. It is vibe with me, baby, because together we are love. <laughs> vibe with me, baby, because together we are love. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So that's my love mantra book, the magic mantra. Let's see. Number 30 is this. Vibe with me, baby, because with together we are love, and my life is magic in every way. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And so when you do these, they so lift and shift your vibe, basically just get rid, help you to just release that stuck energy. So when you're taking a break, if you just repeat mantras, really good way of lifting and shifting. So letter 30, you are light to me. In the parts of me that I had long forgotten about and put in a box, but meeting you made me not want to live in a box. It made me want to become more of me, more of me so I can be everything that I am for you. Meeting you reminded me of who I am. I love you so very much. It's in the cells of my body, in the blood in my veins, in the beat of my heart. You're what I hear, what I see, what I smell. You are my senses. I count down the days and seconds until we can experience all our senses merging together again in a beautiful symphony of love. We will create the perfect divine note to send out to the world. We will let our hearts sing. Well, there you go. I also love at this time there are so many people coming together singing, online choirs everywhere. You know, all of these different ways that people are coming together to help each other uplift and, uh, you know, uplift the vibration. So letter 30, book two, is stick with me. Don't fear off the path and start to give in to any fears and doubts that come up because of what I do or say. Know that it's all part of our plan because it's already set out for us. And as long as we stay true to our hearts and we don't panic, then we'll be more than okay. We'll have the romance of a lifetime. Every day we will live and love like it was our last day on earth together. Every second we will make count. So stay with me. Don't fear off the yellow brick road because home is where the heart is. Oh, and Dorothy, she tapped her red shoes together three times and realized that she always had the power within her. So very strong message. You have the power. So final one, letter 30. There's nothing that I wouldn't give to be with you, to share your life, to share our life together. I want us to be united in our love. I felt it too. I feel it too. Never think that I didn't because I did and I do. It's like a big giant clock ticking in my heart and the tick tock of the divine clock is chiming ever louder. A bit like a bomb timer waiting to go off. I know that our love is going to be explosive. Our love is going to be dramatic, devastatingly divine and wonderful. And I want it so bad. Know that our time is coming. 
our love is bringing us home. Believe in love. Oh, well, there you go, gorgeous. So the message is to believe in love. Believe in the power of your heart that's bringing you back together. Believe that um, you're meant to be together um, and you're all part of this collective, you know, mission to be on here, to ground this energy of love onto the planet. So I'm going to finish by pick, pulling a wisdom of love oracle as to what they want to say. And it is, let's have a look. It is this. Oh, so exchanging gifts. 27 is also always the number of like releasing energies. Um, and if you look, she's coming out of the box with her wings and... Um, the cat here, I also noticed the cat because the cat is also the, you know, it's always a sign of the mystical and the occult and, you know, the the um, sign of spirit. I always, it's for me, it's always that sign of spirit, the cat. And so it is this gift, you know, it is a gift of like coming out of the box. We're collectively coming out of the box that we've been shut into by, you know, society's rules and society's rules and way of being are being completely broken down at the moment so pandora's box is opening so the message is the law of giving and receiving you're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you you have everything you need to seize them yet in order to honor them you must put in time, exchange your experience and skills and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currently, currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. It's really interesting because it's just saying, again, it's not all about do, do, do. And the other message of the work your light was about taking a break. So it is about allowing yourself that time to just be quiet, you know, get a pen and paper, listen to the intuition and the creativity that's, that wants to flow through because that now is a massive window of opportunity for getting that guidance from spirit as to putting you on your soul path as to what you should be doing to really enlighten your soul. And uh, that will come to you, but it won't come to you if you're busy, 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 busy. It comes to you in those moments of contemplation and peace and uh, groundedness. And so um, that's the message for today. Take every bit of time that you can uh, for you, because I'm sure that all of us <laughs> have challenges in different ways of finding that time for just you, but it's really important, and that's the message for today. All right, I hope that helps. Um, if you want a healing or a reading, it's $20. Um, if you want a channeled letter, it's $10. If you want to have a letter read out, pick a number between 1 and 266. Uh, oh, look at that. And then it was believe in the impossible. <laughs> um, there you go. So, uh, yeah, if you want to have a letter read out, pick a number between 1 and 266. I'll put it into the and put it into the comments field. And if you want to get any of these books, they're available on Amazon. Again, all details are in the link. So I really hope that helps. Stay well, stay bright. Take care. Bye.